Hi friends, we have now made it to our B&B on the lower side of Jeju Island. It's actually still raining. The rains, I think, might only get worse from here. So I think we might just have a cozy day in. Other than the weather though, I think it's really nice just being able to be by the ocean and I'll show you guys the view as well. If we get up to anything special, I will of course let you know, but it might just be the day in for today. Wow, like gorgeous. Good morning, everyone. Today we have woken up to much, much bluer skies, which I'm so, so grateful for. I think that today we are going to have a little bit more of an active day, unsurprisingly. Maybe head over to the closest beach, try and see a waterfall there if we can, and then we're meeting up with my uncle. He's gonna take us around to the eastern side where there are some kind of cool island mountain-esque things to climb and see views from. So I'm really excited to take you guys around. I'll show you a little bit of the bus system and tell you if it's a complicated because I am a little nervous about that. But hopefully with this beautiful weather, with this beautiful view, I think everything will work out. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. It's just a black turtleneck, these overalls, I think I've shown them before, and then these earrings that my friend Pritika gave me, and this hat that I DIY'd with um, a badge that my friend Jenny gave me, and a tote bag. It's comfy, but cute, and I'm excited. Let's go! just went to the Cheonggyeon. Oh my god, what if I said that wrong? <laughs> the Cheonggyeon waterfalls um, and got ourselves a slushy like citrus drink. So this is kind of like the orange or clementine but in Jeju. It, it was so so beautiful. There are three waterfalls and also this really crazy bridge that kind of like straight up goes into the sky it was really high up and not much railing and we were a little freaked out but yeah now we are headed to Jungmun Sekdae beach I think um which is a really beautiful beach in the area so I can't wait to show you guys our first beach in Jeju mm.
are finally back at our b and but after we went to the beach with all the surfers, we met up with my uncle and we actually got lunch. We had barbecue, it was like samgyeopsal, which is basically pork. After that, we went on a small kind of local hike and then we also went to Songsan Ichurbong, which is kind of like called Songsan Sunrise Point. And it's, I think, called that because a lot of people climb it to see the sunrise, but it's incredible. It's like this big rock like existence. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it by now, but we wanted to climb the whole thing, but it actually ended up being that they're only like allowing 1200 people per day for COVID. So we didn't get to go, but that's okay because we kind of just went around the area that you were still allowed to go to and it was still super beautiful. And then we came back home. I also just wanted to offer my thoughts after the first day of the Jeju bus system because we've been going around mostly by bus. I would say overall, it's way better than I expected. I heard some kind of like, not horror stories, but just that it isn't as efficient and they're super spaced out the buses and stuff like that. But so far today, we actually, I think got along really well. I didn't really experience that many issues with it. If you kind of go in with the attitude, I think that you might lose a bus and may have to take a taxi for a short little bit and kind of just like go in with a more open mindset of like, this might not work out. I actually think that you might be pleasantly surprised like I was. I'm excited to show you guys Tomorrow, I think for now, I am going to hit the hay because we are pooped. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Hi everyone. Today we have made it to Sezokak, which is kind of like a little creek where you can take canoes and kayaks and stuff. It's really beautiful, it kind of goes straight into the ocean. But there's an hour long wait because there's so many people here. So we are stopping in a bakery to get some goods. a bus from Sezokak to the Ijung Sub Art Museum. He's a famous Jeju artist and I actually really kind of enjoy his art style so I'm excited to see some of his work but I will take you guys around. another beautiful day in Jeju. Um, actually, it's a little cloudier than the past two days, but we are on our way to kind of the northwestern side of the Jeju Island. We're going to Halim Park, which is kind of a big park full of a lot of different themed gardens and um, I think caves and a lot of beautiful flowers and things like that. And then we'll go from there to whoa, the mask. We'll go from there to Kupje Beach, which is one of the most beautiful beaches in Jeju, in my opinion. And then hopefully hit up Osalok Tea, 
Fields and Museum, which is kind of like a green tea and cafe museum fields combo that's really, really nice. So I can't wait to take you guys around. Um, and I am walking to fill up our tea money cards before we take the airport limo to back to Jeju airport. But last night we, um, after we got back from Ozalok, we went and got sashimi, like Korean style sashimi, it's called hui. But there was also a lot of other stuff like a fish stew and fried rice and a ton, like I would say about like five courses of food. I was fully stuffed, like I literally could not move at the end of it and we literally just came home and like tried to digest for a few hours um and the morning after i'm still so full like this is crazy it might be the only time this has ever happened to me in terms of fullness i was a little incapacitated to film anything yesterday but i have had such such a lovely stay here i'm in such a nice area where it's kind of quiet but there's also a lot of stores around um, in terms of food and convenience stores or anything. But when you walk along, it's just little farms. I had such an amazing time. Sad to leave, but also excited to get back to Seoul and explore some more. Stay a minute, another 